and and I think this is leading towards the uh, last part of it. Uh, when you uh, you've talked about something called discipline, mm. I come across many young players who claim to be disciplined, right? And they say, oh, we work so hard. We worked from six in the morning till this. We worked this and we worked that. But when I go and see their, because my way of working is whenever I work with a player, I first want to see him on the ground, in the dressing room, how he is there. Mm. And I see them that their stuff is all over the place. You know, they are lay, lay back attitudes. Mm -hmm. They're going uh, again. I have to go. You know, mm -hmm. these kind of attitudes. Mm -hmm. But yes, they do practice. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you think this is called discipline? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it's called. Like I said, um, each and and everyone is different. There are some guys who are laid, very laid back in mm. so many different ways. There are some guys who are very superstitious. There are some guys who are very like... Mm -hmm. Everyone is different. Everyone yeah, prepared agreed. different. Agreed. So I will not watch the way how someone... Um, you know, own personal preparation is and, and try to judge them. What I will say though is um, if when it comes to practice and or you at a game and you're not giving a hundred percent, then I will question these things. But if know? they're coming late or they are, you know, not bothered about Another timing. thing people, if you're in a team environment, late is not acceptable mm -hmm. unless it's like unfortunate. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, Late coming, complaining, exactly. all these things is is not acceptable. No. So what what would you do? Or what would you advise them? Because a lot of them say, "Sir, you know what? I don't have somebody in the board. I don't have somebody in the you know manager or the coach doesn't like me. So uh, I don't think I will be able to you know mm. play." And when I see their lifestyle, okay, I'm not ever not saying when I was giving you that example, that was not of a judgmental thing, but that was the attitude they were carrying everywhere mm. Mm. because of their complaints and everything. Uh, what do you think? They think they have done the right amount of practice. They think they have done the right amount of discipline. Mm. Uh, how can somebody evaluate if he is on that right path to be a champion? I'm not talking about mm. a player in, in one match, no. To be that champion mindset. What are what was your routine of your day, for example? I didn't have a set specific routine. Um, you know, I wake up at different times. I if I have a practice in the morning, then for sure I know I have to get up at a particular time. If I have practice in the evening, then I sleep. Which is fine. I feel which is fine. Up, yeah, which, yeah, is, which is yeah. Fine. So. Which is okay. But I'm very professional and again with my punctuality, yes, the yes. things that I eat, um, how I go about doing my research on games and stuff and the time and I invest in the game to, to develop my brain and, and how to go about the game is I spend a lot of time into that. So it's all boiled down to the player. How much he want to get out of the game is how much he put in. If he put in a little bit, he get a little bit. If he put in a lot, he get a lot. So yeah. it's all boiled down to the individual. Those are individual sacrifices you have to make. You have to know how you want to know. You have to know what you want to achieve out of the sport. So if you just want to be a player who happened to play a few games for your country, then that's, that's on you. If you want to be remembered as one of the better players that play the game, also that's on you. So it's just a, a matter of self-reflection and what you want. So for me, I don't um, look for excuses. We all have those different challenges. Uh, this one don't like you, that one don't like you. You was, Again, it happened to me with my cricket board, but I block out outside noise. I block out things that I don't have control over. The things I have control over, I master it and I go for it. Absolutely. And I think this is, if you if you summarize the whole discussion, the, the few points that I have come uh, picked up is, of course, discipline, punctuality, uh, shutting down the outdoor noises. And how would you, would you also shut down your negative internal talk? Would you do that? Yeah, um, very rare, I think negatively, because for me, there are two types of people. Mm -hmm. There are people who look at a glass half, half full and half, and, empty. and half empty. I always see it half full. Half full. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so yeah. you 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 are lucky that you don't have that issue with you. 
because there's no. a lot of things that people and if then, it crosses my mind it'll be like seconds yeah, yeah. And, and i think the most uh, important the critical one was the uh, complaining and uh, you know blaming and being victim mentality that is what i think ruins a lot of uh, sportsmen mm. right brilliant uh, bravo at the end i would like you to uh, you know give uh, your uh, so many years of expertise in in a few sentences one or two sentences for the young ones who are watching you <laughs> hi guys this is a champion dj bravo if you want to be a champion uh, just know that champion mentality start within yourself and don't sit, uh, take no for an answer don't let anyone tell you that you cannot do it and what is for you is for you that's just the purpose trust the process and give it your best shot thank you very much dj and uh, viewers i am sure you like this uh, this discussion inshallah we are coming back with some more stay tuned and i really am thankful to bravo for giving his time and my lovely camera crew who have helped me out see you guys sugar bye sugar bye <laughs>